If you don't know any of these seven AI tools, you're missing out big time. Just write a tiny prompt, click a single button, and boom. Hours of work done in minutes. But this is not an ordinary top seven list. This is actually the top seven tools that I use as a content creator and business owner and AI YouTuber that's reviewed hundreds of AI tools by now. You should know these tools and use these tools daily. I'll start with the most popular AI tools that you probably already heard about and that you should be using right now today. And by the end, I'll show you some more unique tools that not many people know about and especially the last three ones pretty much nobody's talking about. AI tool number seven, ChatGPT. So you most likely already tried ChatGPT and maybe you used it a little bit in the beginning, but then all of a sudden you didn't use it that much anymore. And now maybe you're not even using it that much, even though you know that it has a lot of capabilities, or maybe you're like some other people like me that use ChatGPT every single day. I use ChatGPT every single day now for many different tasks in my business. And that goes from taking my YouTube data and putting it into ChatGPT as a CSV file to analyze that data. It also is things like in the morning, I could ask ChatGPT about to-do list items that I'm doing in the morning to kind of get a sense and visualize how my day will go and the task that needs to be done. I use ChatGPT search now instead of Google search. So if I click the top URL bar and just write anything, it goes directly to GPT search. And not to mention another tool that I'll share with you later, ChatGPT as an automation in other workflows is just ridiculously good. So for anything text generation, I highly recommend you watch the ChatGPT tutorial video. It has about 17 prompts that you can start using on everyday tasks, whether you have a job or if you're your own boss. AI tool number six, Runway ML. So if you haven't seen Runway yet, it's an AI video generator that basically take an image that you make from one of the image generation tools I'm about to show you, put it directly into Runway and you can start moving the camera around, getting the characters to move around. You can make any style you want from animation style from Pixar to more realistic woman speaking on stage. There's so much you can do. And the real power here is being able to make a full AI video or movie or advertisement that I've made in the past. One of the crazy things that I saw recently was that AI advertising agencies are actually using AI video generation in their advertisement. They're looking for AI video creatives that can use these tools, make advertisements and get paid for it. The runway after testing, I think the seven best AI tools, there's a tier list that I made. Runways by far the one that I think that you should use the most. It's the most reliable and it generates the highest quality. An honorable mention goes to Kling AI as well, as they did really get the first place in my rankings together. But yeah, out of all the AI video generators, I would go with Runway. AI tool number five, in video AI. So with full transparency, NVIDIA is sponsoring this slot in the video. None of the other tools are sponsored, so I can be fully transparent. But the best part is that I still believe NVIDIA AI is one of the best AI tools that you can create with right now, especially because they have upgraded to a new V3 model that uses AI video generation in the background. And if you remember from NVIDIA before, they would use stock videos to create a full video. This is something that I've been dreaming about and it just released right now. Let me show you some examples right now. Bricks together. Everything is about to get bricking bad. One does not simply walk into Mordor unless you're blackout drunk. Once the capital of the mighty Vijayanagara Empire now lies in ruins. With InVideo, you can turn a text prompt into a full video. Now with AI video, you can generate these in all different types of languages. You can 
edit with AI and create incredible videos that work really well on any social media. People are actually getting views and traffic within video alone. And if you want to start testing out the new V3 model, I recommend going in the link in the description checking it out for yourself. I'm of course going to do a full tutorial and review of NVIDIA, but click the link in the description down below to get NVIDIA now. And thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this section of the video that allows me to make these videos. AI tool number four, 11 Lab. So have you ever heard an AI cloned voice or voices recently? They're getting pretty good, right? Like some of them now kind of fool me as well as I've tried to clone my own voice in 11 labs. And unfortunately for me, it doesn't really clone my voice that well because I am Norwegian, have a Norwegian dialect. But some of my AI friends that have American accents and stuff like that, it literally sounds 100% real. There's a little bit of a cadence issue like if you slow uh, down or if you speed up, that is a little bit of an issue with 11 Labs and AI voiceover as a whole. But 11 Labs is the best AI voiceover out there. There are some competitors, but as far as professional high quality voiceovers that uh, for me, I use it in content, but it also can be used in AI phone callers that I had a video about synth flow, amazing AI voices that sounds real. Like you're talking to somebody on the phone, getting instant responses. 11 labs is responsible for that. And many other AI tools actually use the 11 labs API so they can use the AI voices that are in there, they have a massive library all the way from storyteller, AI voices, Ooh. more of an instructional, or maybe like a deep masculine voice, or more of a news anchor AI voice from a, a girl, for example. You can get it all in 11 Labs, so that's what I recommend. And I realized that my AI background is a little bit wonky, so maybe I should just fix it like this. Oh, that looks even worse. That's better. My tiny New York City apartment. AI tool number three, Time Bolt. So this is a tool that most people don't know about or they might know about it, but not know its full potential. I have used Time Bolt for five years, something like that, a very long time. And what Time Bolt is, is an AI video editor. It cuts out all the silences for you and it can make cuts on different silences as well. And how I used to edit videos would be, I'll drag my MP4 from the camera into DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro or any video editor that you think of. And then I would start cutting out the pauses myself manually. Then that evolved into me using Timebolt where it would cut out the silences automatically for me. So I would just, keep the audio itself. But I would still have a bunch of retakes. Like I would say things again or double takes or whatever you call it. And uh, that led me to having to delete many different things. And I would have to go back and forth with my mouse deleting and going back forth, zooming in and out and things like that. And then I learned that Timebolt actually has its own editor built inside of Timebolt where you don't even have to use a mouse. There's a couple of keyboard shortcuts that allows you to just jump to the next section, delete that section, delete the previous section and things like that. I can't overstate how amazing of a tool it is for doing the first draft video. It seriously took me maybe from an hour to do the first draft in a um, normal video editor to down to about 20 minutes. And I don't think that's even an over exaggeration. Once you get the keyword shortcuts, you can play at 3x speed playback as well, which I guess I'm a psychopath. Or do you guys do that as well? I also play every YouTube video at 2x speed, so lock me up. So if you're editing any type of videos, Timebolt, highly recommended. Integral to our entire video process. AI tool number two, Korea AI. So do you know Midjourney? You probably heard about it before. ChatGPT has Dolly as an image generator. Horribly bad, it just turned worse over the last, I don't know why it's so bad now, but my favorite AI image generator is called Flux. Now, Flux is not a website that you can access directly. It's an open sourced tool that you can access through many different ways. I already made a video on how to access it three different ways, but my favorite way is to use the tool Korea AI. I think it's a very underestimated tool or 
underrated. I don't really see many AI YouTubers talk about it or anything. To me, it's one of my favorites. First, for AI image generation, it generates with Flux and you get four really good variations in literally seconds. Second thing is that they now added AI video gen in there. So you can generate from Luban Lab, uh, Kling AI, Runway, and Halo, I think, which is just insane. So you don't have to jump from one tool to another. You can literally create an image with Crea and then directly generate with Runway as well, all in the same platform. That helps so much on the steps and the tools and also the cost of these tools. So Crea is like a big bang for your buck because you have, first of all, Flux image generation, the best image generation for me at least. And you have Runway integrated directly in there. So it's like a creator's dream if you want to create an AI movie or trailer or uh, advertisement or even videos for baseless YouTube or other type of content. Rhea AI is really worth checking out. On top of that sweet cake, it's also free for 20 images or around 20 images every single day. And paying for it is a really good idea if you just want quick, easy access to all the best tools. Uh, they never sponsored me, but I did receive like their max version for free. And it's one of the best free things that I got. I love free. So Korea for any image and video generation need. But now for the last and final AI tool, AI tool number one, Make. So Make is an automation platform. And what that means is not only can you use the tools that we just talked about one by one, but you can stack them together after each other. So for example, you can get it to trigger when you get an email and get ChatGPT to read that email and respond for you. Or for example, let's say you get a customer, you can get make to make a custom response to them entering, giving them things. And I have a list of like 100 automation examples. So I'm not going to list them all right now. But in essence, what make does is it allows you to run all the apps in a workflow. I think the best way is to show you an actual example of the last automation I made. So take a look at this automation right here. What it does is I'll show you. I use Slack and if I just go into this some um, trigger channel, I can write anything. So let's say bacon, a can of beans and um, corn. If I write that, you can now see that I'm running three different automations and all of them are running through this sequence right here. I'm not going to explain this in this video, but essentially the input is a word like I just uh, wrote in the Slack message and the output is an actual image of my face with that included, whatever I'm writing in the prompt. So it's going to generate three of them using Flux, but this time through replicate.com. I'll give that an honorable mention as well. An amazing way to access Flux. And just like that, you can see that I get images of myself cooking bacon, just like that. A pan full of bacon and my face. Here we have a can of beans looking all nice. And lastly, I don't know if this is allowed to show on YouTube, but as you can see, I want to ask you a question. How many of you think that uh, there are unlimited amount of content creators that hate taking photos of their face and posing for thumbnails and making all this content. There is so many of them. And what you could do is either if you're a content creator yourself, you can obviously use this yourself as an automation like I'm doing, or you could easily set this up for somebody else and set up their Slack messenger, or this can also be on WhatsApp, Telegram, and a lot of other triggers that you don't have to use Slack. But this is where you could sell that as a service for somebody that doesn't want to have any technical hurdles at all. All you got to do is write bacon in the text field, and all of a sudden, you're holding bacon in your hands. All of these seven are my favorite AI tools. There are so many more that didn't make the cut for this video because I wanted to keep the number at seven. But one bonus that I'll give you is Photoshop. Still use Photoshop a lot. And the generative things that are inside are kind of bad. <laughs> Honestly, the image generation stuff is terrible, but 
it's still where I create thumbnails and different designs and different. It's just what I've been using for a long time. So using the generative expand and also using the um, you just circle around something and then add something to the image, even though that it looks kind of terrible most of the time. You could get some great backgrounds or extend things and stuff like that. So that's probably the last one that I use the most. But what is your favorite AI tool? Are you agreeing with me? Do you think these are the best? Is there anything that I'm missing? I'm going to read every single comment down below. Also, thank you to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. Go in the link in the description to check out their V3 model. It's really something worth checking out. And I hope you like this. Links to all the tools are going to be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. A little bit different than normal. Just me and the camera. Not so much of a tutorial video. But that's it. See ya in the next one. Peace.